Hello, everybody. Give you a couple of minutes to come on in the room. Come on in the room. Welcome, 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 welcome. It's another Monday, another class. I'm so excited to be here teaching. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to come on in the room. We're gonna get started talking about those green juices today. Come on in the room. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, just to see you, to behold. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'll give you a couple of minutes to come on in the room. Then I'm going to go over a couple of housekeeping um, things with you. How are you? Hi, Talisha. <laughs> Come on in the room, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Give you like another minute or so. Then we're going to get started. Oh, guys, guys, guys. <clears throat> My notes here. How are you, everybody? I'm going to talk about those green juices today. Hopefully you guys will um, take some time and um, make these green smoothies. That's like our, our class today. So let me put, pull up all of my notes. Okay, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to health and wellness classes. I'm your teacher, Zandra Wilson. I'm so excited uh, to be here with you today, teaching these wonderful classes, these wonderful health classes. And, um, you know, we're like on week six, I think. Um, no, no, we're more than that, guys. Or eight. Yeah, we're like maybe, no, eight or nine classes in. Hmm, lose track after so many classes. But anyway, welcome. I'm your health and wellness director for Calvary Baptist Church in Hawthorne, California. I'm also the founder of Marriage and a Single Lady. A lot of you guys are tuning in from that page. Welcome. So first things first, we're going to start off with our winner. So guys, I'm telling you, you have got to follow directions. So I didn't even have to pull a name because only one person followed direction and she's in the chat today, Miss Do. She won our first gift. <laughs> she won a, a Starbucks gift card and uh, in a book, a journal, actually restoration. Guys, you have got to, these gifts, I have stuff to give away, right? I have like, come on now, I got gift cards from Macy's. I have Amazon. Come on now, y'all. Y'all got to follow directions. Cheesecake Factory. Come on now. Come on now. I should have a copy. Another Starbucks gift card. I have um, my other book we're giving away, which is Faithful 40 and Fabulously Fit. So, guys, come on now. Come on now. All you have to do for all of you guys who are on my YouTube channel, you have got to go to Facebook. And on Facebook, you asked us to join our Healthier Church Challenge page. And it's www.facebook.com backslash groups backslash Healthy Calvary. I'll put it in the chat section. Go over there. Ask to join the group. Not my personal marriage in the single lady club page. You can join that as well. But uh, for the sake of the March Madness with the contest that we're giving away, you have got to join our Healthier Church Challenge page. If you're already a member, that's fine. All you have to do is like and share our video. The same video that you're watching me on is on that page and just put your name in the comment section. And then what I do is after this class, I go through, I pull a name and you want a gift. I mail it to you. And Talisha's our first, um, our first um, winner. So congratulations. Miss Do, she got our first gift. It was mailed to her out in California, so she should get it very soon. Um, so, guys, yeah, just do that. It's just that simple. We got all kinds of stuff we just want to give away. Just want to bless you. Just want to bless you. Bless you. <laughs> so that's all you have to do, okay? That's all you have to do. And it has to be done during this hour. It cannot be out after or, you know, later or whatever. So it has to be during this particular hour that I'm teaching these classes, Okay. So let's open up with a word of prayer. So Father God, I thank you, Lord, just for allowing me to be able to teach these classes one more time. Father, you know how much I love teaching these health classes to the masses, Lord. So I pray for all of the um, people who are watching now and those who are watching on Facebook and on YouTube, Lord. I just thank you for them, Lord. I just pray that they can get something out of these classes, Father God, for their health. We just want them to have good health so they can live a long time, Father God, without medication, without help to have a nice, healthy 
quality life. So, Father, I pray for um, the messenger, Father God, with the video I'm going to show, Lord, and I'll get that audio up, Lord, that they can hear, Father God, that they're blessed. So I lift all of these things up to you in the mighty and the matchless name of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay. So happy birthday, Talisha. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy. Let's sing happy birthday to her. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm so glad you're tuning in on your birthday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So again, so everybody, I think I got all of the questions. So everybody said that they follow directions. Do we share in newsfeed or to friends? Which you can share to whoever, as long as it's shared to the um to the anonymous Facebook user. I can't see all of the names that's on here. But yeah, just as long as you share, we, I would love for you to share it um, to someone who you really think will benefit from it. Um, that's our whole point. We, you know, if you're someone, um, but definitely, definitely share it publicly, um, on your page, preferably, but if there's someone, I'll be able to see the share, um, button on our page. So definitely share it, um, preferably with, um, someone that'll benefit from it, but on your newsfeed. Okay, guys. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with a video. Let me share my page and I take off my earbuds. So you guys will be able to hear, um, hold on. Okay, so I turned off my Bluetooth. Hopefully you guys you can still be able to hear me. And then I wanna share my screen and play this video. These are some great, now guys, this video I'm about to play you is a bunch of different recipes that you can use and it's all for antioxidants is to boost that immune system. So I love this kind of stuff. So let me go ahead and share. Hold on one second. So definitely these videos. Um, oh, let me pull up the screen here. So, uh, okay. I did a video on anti-inflammatory foods that I eat every week. And with over two and a half million views now, I'd say it's been quite popular. So today I thought I would follow that video up with one on anti-inflammatory drinks that I enjoy drinking. And I think you will too. These drinks deliver a variety of nutrients, antioxidants, and free radical fighting compounds. Can you guys see the video and hear the video? Bay and give our immune systems a little boost. And I think that we could all use that, especially this year. I've got a vibrant assortment of drinks today, but you'll certainly notice several orange colored drinks. And that's because turmeric is the star ingredient in several of them, from warm teas to cooling smoothies. Now, before someone mentions that I forgot golden milk in today's video, I've purposefully left it off because I've already done a separate video on it. And I thought I would give you some new fresh recipes today, but it is absolutely a classic anti-inflammatory drink. One last thing, and that's a quick reminder that you can find the printable versions of all of these recipes. And oh, you can't see the video. You can just hear it, but you can't so see the video. Ado, let's get okay. Started. Okay. The I want to you can see the video. Is this deep mm -hmm. and dark elderberry tea. You've likely heard of elderberry before because it's the immune boosting fruit that's used in many over-the-counter cold and flu treatments like lozenges and syrups. But today we'll avoid any added sugars, colorings, and other ingredients with a simple three ingredient tea and get those health benefits directly from the source. So add two cups of water to a pot along with two tablespoons of dried elderberries. And you'll notice the berries instantly start releasing their inky color. Then add one cinnamon stick, which not only infuses a lovely flavor, but so is also no anti-inflammatory. Bring the pot so to a boil, then reduce the berries. heat to low and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Once the tea has finished simmering, turn off the heat and let it rest for five minutes, then strain it. I usually strain it into a larger measuring cup first because I'm prone to spilling. Then I'll pour it into a cup. This quick and easy tea is warming a on a cold berry. day, but if it's hot where you live, just chill this tea once you've made it and pour it over ice for a refreshing iced tea option. It is the middle of the it's night. one thing when you're playing off YouTube, so you have to deal with the uh, commercials. Sorry, guys. Next on our list is a drink I learned how to make when I spent two months in Indonesia, and that's Jammu. Unfortunately, I was accidentally glutened in Bali and had a horrible autoimmune flare, and this traditional jammu drink was definitely my savior. 
While there are variations to jamu, the key ingredient is usually turmeric. And for this, I do recommend purchasing fresh turmeric root if you can get it. Turmeric root is similar in size and shape to ginger root, but if you break it open, it's a vibrant orange color, whereas ginger is a light yellow color. And both of these together make for one powerhouse anti-inflammatory drink. To make it, you'll need approximately one cup of roughly chopped turmeric and one finger-sized piece of ginger. Because we're going to strain this at the end, you can actually skip the step of peeling if you'd prefer not to stain your fingers. Just give your turmeric and ginger a good scrub. I fluctuate and sometimes I peel it and sometimes I don't. Slice it into pieces about a quarter inch thick or so and measure that out and then add it to your blender. To that, sprinkle a little black pepper as black pepper can help to increase the absorption of curcumin from the turmeric. Pour in four cups of coconut water, which has antioxidants and electrolytes, and then blend it up on high speed for about a minute or until it's fairly smooth. These are so good. I'm telling you, these are so good. Pour that into a pot and bring it to a boil, then reduce the heat to low and let it simmer for 20 minutes. After it's done simmering, turn off the heat and add the juice from one lemon and two tablespoons of honey and give it a stir. Strain the mixture through a fine mesh strainer or nut milk bag, but just be aware that it will definitely stain your nut milk bag along with your clothes, countertop, and anything else it comes into contact with, so do be careful. Again, I strain it into a much larger measuring bowl with a pour spout for less spills, and then pour that into a glass jar that I keep in the fridge. You can enjoy Jammu chilled or warm, and it will last this for Jammu about a week in the fridge. Just give it a good shake before serving. <clears throat> and I'll usually enjoy about a half a cup at a time. For the next drink, it's sort of a combination of the first two because it's a turmeric tea, and it's really easy to make. Just add two cups of water to a pot, and this time we'll use ground turmeric rather than fresh turmeric, just to provide some options. So add a half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, along with a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and two tablespoons of lemon juice, which is about the amount you'll get from one lemon. Bring that to a boil, and once it's boiling, turn the heat down to low and simmer for 10 minutes. Once the tea has finished simmering, turn off the heat, add a little honey if you'd like, give it a stir, and let the tea cool for a minute or two. Pour the tea into a mug through a strainer to remove the black pepper. And again, try not to spill because of the turmeric. If you do have any spills, just make sure to wipe them up right away. For a little extra lemon flair, I always like to add a few fresh lemon slices. And I will say that this tea, while delicious, was still piping hot, so I took a very little sip. You guys have been asking for this next recipe for the last year, and that's these, ginger shots. Come on, yeah, these Still ginger, ginger shots, shots are ginger crazy shots. expensive, and this tastes exactly like core brand wellness shots, so now you can make them at home. For this recipe, you'll need a quarter cup of roughly chopped ginger root, and again, you can peel or not peel the ginger. You'll also need a third cup of lemon juice, which is about three to four lemons, depending on their size. Add the ginger and lemon juice to a high powered blender along with a quarter cup of coconut water and a pinch or a little sprinkle of cayenne pepper. Then add the lid, blend for about a minute or so on high or until the mixture is smooth. Once it's blended, strain the liquid through a fine mesh strainer. You also wanna press on the solids with the back of a spoon to extract as much juice as possible. Pour the strained liquid into a shot glass and drink all at once. And yes, these are just as intensely flavored and spicy as the store-bought one. Big news, America. Uh, Back for a limited time, we've changed sorry, the Sorry, now the commercial. <laughs> because we want people to know. These ginger shots are the truth, guys. <clears throat> They're so powerful. Woo! And they're expensive when you go to Jamba Juice. <laughs> Next on our list is a cool and refreshing pineapple turmeric smoothie. Oh, this is so good. The weather is hot outside. For this recipe, I'll grate about a tablespoon of fresh turmeric and one teaspoon of fresh ginger. And for this drink, because we're not straining it at the end, you do want to peel both the turmeric and ginger. In your high powered blender, add one cup of dairy free milk, two cups of frozen pineapple chunks, which are loaded with enzymes and antioxidants one banana that's high in potassium and will help to make this smoothie creamy, 
and the grated turmeric and ginger. Then blend that until it's nice and smooth. If you want a mild turmeric drink with a sweet tropical flair that will have you feeling good from the inside out, this is the drink for you. For an anti-inflammatory smoothie that doesn't include turmeric, but is still loaded with nutrients and antioxidants, I've got this luscious blueberry smoothie. Come on now. Add two cups of coconut water to your blender, along with two cups of frozen blueberries, one frozen banana, half a cup of yogurt or kefir for beneficial probiotics, and you can use dairy-free as well, and one tablespoon of flax seeds, which are high in healthy omega-3 fats and will help to thicken the smoothie. Then add the lid, blend that together for about 30 seconds Yummy. or so, or until it's beautifully creamy and beautifully purple. Pour the smoothie into a glass, pop in a straw if you'd like, and sip on this deliciously sweet and power-packed drink. You know I love green smoothies, and I have several recipes on my website, but today I wanted to show you how to make green juice, and this is a copycat of one that I used to buy at Press Juicery. To make this, you'll need two tablespoons of lime juice, which you'll usually get from one juice lime, one cucumber that's sliced and will add some natural liquid to our green juice, three stalks of celery that you've roughly chopped. Celery is so good. And one so apple that you've poured and sliced in these, into pieces. Um, and you can use guys. any variety of apple that you'd like. Pour the lime juice into a blender along with the cucumber, apple, a small chunk of fresh ginger, celery, three kale Pack leaves, it and you can just tear the leaves from the stems, and one cup of spinach. Your blender will be pretty full at this point, and because we're not adding any water to this recipe, you'll need to use your tamper to push the ingredients into the blades. And to make things easier on your blender, make sure to add the ingredients that contain more water, like the cucumber and apple, to the blender first. But after a minute or so, this should blend on its own just like any other green smoothie. Of course, you can drink it thick and full of fiber, but I know some people have a hard time digesting fiber. So to turn this into a green juice, pour it into a nut milk bag and wring it out over a bowl. Then pour it into a glass. This is one nutrient-packed green juice with a hint of natural sweetness from the apple. And if you've ever wondered how to make green juice without a juicer, well, yes, this is it. how you do it. The last anti-inflammatory drink beets. on our list today beets. is this apple carrot beet smoothie. And you can tell it's brimming with antioxidants from its vibrant red color. I always say this smoothie is the equivalent of drinking your veggies. And it starts with three carrots that you've peeled, trimmed, and cut into two-inch chunks. You'll also add one medium beet, and to peel or not peel the carrot and beet is up to you. I tend to do just a rough peel on both of these. And then slice the beet into large chunks. For natural sweetness, core and slice one apple, whichever variety you'd like, and then juice one large orange. Add the orange juice to your high-powered blender along with one cup of water, the sliced apple, carrots, beet, and a small chunk of fresh ginger. Add the lid, blend it on high for about a minute or until the veggies are broken down and smooth. There's so many vitamins and nutrients loaded in this smoothie and it's nice and thick, but now that you know how to make juice from a smoothie, you could always strain this one as well if you'd like. We all have different taste and texture preferences. Okay, guys, and that is it. Um, let me get you off of the screen share. Okay, stop sharing. Those recipes are so good. Now, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker, guys. They have to be organic. They have to be natural. If you can um, have a garden in your backyard, use your, your fresh um, garden uh, foods or whatever. Let me put my... Um, Earbugs back on to hear me clearly. Put them back on. Hold on one second. Okay. Okay. So yeah, the key here is to make sure that the, the fruit has to be organic. If not, you're going to start adding sugar to it because it's not going to taste good. So these are some anti- 
um, anti-inflammatory smoothies that you should be taking drinking every day. And they really are good. At least one, at least try one a day. Um, and it really will help you. Um, I mean, seriously, if you have really bad acne, if you have um, gut issues, if you have all of this stuff, these particular smoothies will help you. So I'm going to go over some details with you to, to um, back up with my girl just said in regards to how we should be eating. So hold on, let me grab my notes here. But guys, yeah, the key, you got to um, make sure it's organic. Um, the best type of apples, if you can, are Granny Smith organic. Of course, you can use um, Gala and all these other type of apples. But Granny Smith, are they're the tart apples. But definitely make sure that they're organic. Um, oranges, not orange juice. Limes, not lime juice. So you're going to need your high-powered blender. Most of us have a Nutribullet or a Ninja, I think she was using something comparable to the Ninja, a juicer, um, and that's it. Go to the uh, farmer's market. Um, and then if you are not using up all your veggies, make sure you just cut them up and then freeze them. Um, the best is obviously fresh. And then add some ice cubes in there if you wanna make it a little bit more, you know, if it's summertime or whatever. And if you're having issue, issues with sugar, then leave out the bananas. Or make sure your bananas are on the green side if you want it to have that thick, um, like malted type of texture. Because that, bananas are healthier when they're green. I just personally don't like them. I'd rather just leave them out. But if uh, my niece loves green bananas, but that's when they're the healthiest, okay? So here's some reasons why you should drink a green juice every day. Green juices are the rock stars of the health world. They condense several servings of fruit, vegetables, and other superfoods into a single, easy-to-consume drink. Because so much is packed into one drink, green juices are incredibly nutrient-dense and have an impressive list of health benefits. That's why almost every single diet, um, cleanse, pH balance have green juices included um, because they are so beneficial to your body. I'm telling you. Um, that's why they're so appealing. There's simply no other way to provide this many benefits and nutrients in a single serving. Nothing compares. And if you guys can stand it, leave the, leave the um, peel on or the, um, the skin on of your vegetables. Um, some of them we just, you know, when you're drinking it, it's going to be like that, the, the skin may not blend up as well or whatever, but you can definitely peel it. But a lot of the nutrients is in the skin. OK, so let's talk about this. It alkalizes the body. Now, what I did back in January through Arbonne, I did a pH balance type alkaline thing for my system. For me, because I need the energy, the type of lifestyle that I have, I really need the energy. Right. So that that's the type of cleanse that was good for me. I think Pastor did like a nut cleanse or herb nut cleanse. Some of you guys, did, you know, the, with the Daniel fast, which is the nuts, the um fruits, but no meat and all that. So it depends on what your goals are. You know what I'm saying? So once you figure out what your goals are, that would depend on what you eat and then the type of lifestyle, the type of lifestyle that you want. And then that will determine how you eat to support that lifestyle. Okay. So your body's pH is like the Goldilocks principle. It can't be too acidic. It can't be too alkaline. It needs to be just right between 7.35 and 7.45 pH. Your body has natural buffer systems that keep it within the ideal pH range. But when you drink alcohol or consume processed foods, it can cause your body to become more acidic. Okay. Let me take these earrings off. They clunk, I think they're clanking up against the... Um... In response, your body has to pull... Oops. In response, your body has to pull buffering minerals from elsewhere in the body to maintain your pH. So this can result in a wide range of issues, including weak bones, fatigue, stiff joints, and digestive problems. So you want to make sure, guys, that you are um, that your pH is, is um, balanced in your body. Consuming plenty of green vegetables helps maintain alkalinity. And the easiest way to do that is with a green juice every day. So that's why I drink a protein shake every single day. I have the protein in my green all day energy, which is another thing that most of us need. When you're feeling tired, what's the first thing you reach for? Coffee. 
or a risky energy drink. While some caffeinated drinks like tea and coffee are perfectly healthy in moderation, they aren't a remedy for the real reason that you're tired. An estimated nine out of 10 of y'all are lacking in key vitamins and minerals. <laughs> when your body is starved of nutrients, it simply won't work the way it should, leaving you feeling fatigued. Green juices are the perfect remedy. They provide a near instant lift in energy. And unlike caffeine or synthetic stimulants, there's no late afternoon crash. So most of us are all lacking in the key nutrients that we need. It can also delay aging. If you don't eat a wide variety of vegetables, fruits, and herbs, you're missing out on a key component of wellness, antioxidants. Antioxidants protect your body from oxidative damage, which contributes to physical aging. Studies have linked oxidative damage to the development of cancer, diabetes, heart disease, and much, much more. And the best source of antioxidants is found in fruits and vegetables. In fact, an analysis of 95 studies by scientists from Imperial College of London showed remarkable protection against a range of diseases when 10 servings of fruits and vegetables are consumed daily. So that's why we, you know, they have the food pyramid and you have your protein and then you have your, your starchy carbs. But the biggest thing is, your, is those vegetables. That's why the vegetables take up half the plate because we need more of them so we can have a healthy lifestyle. This protective benefit only came from the plants. Green juices give you multiple servings of nutritious superfoods to boost your antioxidant intake. That's why with Adam and Eve, before the fall, they were, um, they were uh, vegetarians. Now I know that, did you? <laughs> they were vegetarians, you know, which is the same thing with um, Shadrach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, um, um, and Daniel, just with the Daniel fast. And, you know, so, yeah. They were, they were definitely um, um, eating green. Improves gut health. Your gut is the foundation of health. It can be the difference between depression and happiness. That is so true, guys. Your gut, we got to take care of it. If we concentrate just on our guts, because that's where the weight starts. It go right in that stomach. Then it starts spreading out all over our bodies. But if we have, that's why I did the whole class on gut health. If you get a chance, go back and look at it. But our guts are so important. It affects nearly every aspect of your health. That's why it's critical to take steps to ensure your gut is healthy and drinking green juice supports gut health. That's because green juices contain digestive enzymes and prebiotics. Some higher quality green juices even contain probiotics. That means if you're putting that yogurt in, there's dairy-free yogurt. There's different things that you can use for that gut. Good bacteria that are recognized for supporting gut health. All these substances can dramatically improve the health of your gut. So guys, that's why these greens, these vegetables. Now, some people may be allergic to the greens, uh, may cause gas, which you can take gas eggs or take some other, um, um, something that can help you with the gas, but you still need the vegetables. I would not substitute, just take something for the gas, but the vegetables, I'm telling you, it helps in every aspect of your life. Number five, it enhances detoxification. Now, some of us did the pH alkaline thing. Some people did the detoxifying thing. You see how green plays a part in all of it? No matter how careful you are, your body is constantly exposed to toxins. They can be found in drinking water, household furniture, food, and the air you breathe. All these toxins put a huge strain on your liver. Green juices help because many of the ingredients can support a healthy liver. For example, studies have found that cruciferous vegetables like broccoli can improve phase two detoxification in the liver. This means your liver will be more efficient at quickly getting toxins out of your body. By consuming a green juice every day, you can give your liver a fighting chance against all of the toxins you're, ex you're exposed to on a daily basis. So that's why, guys, when you're eating healthy, you're, how God made us, our bodies naturally fight off disease. It naturally detoxifies. It naturally tries to get back to back to its pH. But after year after year after year, not eating healthy, year after year after year of the abuse we put on our bodies, year after year after year of smoking and um, just eating junk food and all the sugar, and your body just breaks down. You're, it, we're not Superman. <laughs> We're not Superman. It's like your body is fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. But we have to step in and help it out if we want to live a healthy life. And we don't want to take a pill for everything. Because that's another thing. We're lazy. We go to the doctor and we have them write us a pill for everything to get the cholesterol down and get this down. No, if you take charge of your health, even if you start with green juices, that's why I said with green, and 
drink the juice, but do not add all this added sugar to it. It defeats the purpose. <laughs> it defeats the purpose. And it, you're psyching yourself out thinking you're drinking this healthy drink when it's actually counterproductive to your body because you're filling it with all the sugar. So that's why organic if you can get, you know, get your hands on organic stuff, the, the especially the fruit, because that's supposed to sweeten the drink. But your veggies, get a hold to it, cut it up and freeze it. It is yummy. You will enjoy drinking your healthy protein shakes and you won't add anything to it. The turmeric, that's why I love playing those, um, the video before this, dealing with all of these healthy drinks with the pineapple and the banana and then adding um, turmeric to it and, you know, your... Um, you know, all just, just zinc, you know, all of these different things that you can add to your smoothies to make it healthy. And especially those ginger shots. Those shots are so expensive. You can make them at home and take them every day. And I'm telling you and get amazing benefits. It supports a healthy immune system. Green juices are one of the best ways to support a healthy immune system because they are packed full of nutri nutrition. Much like a car needs gas, oil, and lubricants, your immune system needs specific nutrients to run properly. Nutrients that must be constantly replenished. If they aren't, things just stop working. Zinc deficiencies, for example, can make you significantly, significantly more susceptible to catching a cold or flu. So that's another thing. If you catch a flu, if you catch a cold really quick, and the flu really quick, you have to change your eating. Okay, you need some some zinc. A daily dose of vitamin C is also a must to help keep your immunity strong. Drinking a green juice every day is an easy way to replenish the nutrients your immune system needs. And I am telling you guys, I'm in Ohio now. In Ohio, one day is 65, the next day is 20. The next day is snowing, the next day you can go swimming. If anybody gets sick, you're going to get sick here in Ohio because the weather is just crazy. So I think I shared with you before that um, when I would come here for vacation or come here for um, Christmas to visit my family, that I would always make sure that I loaded up on juices, juices, juices. So I would not get sick when I came here. Every year I used to come here, I would get sick. But what I started doing when I figured out the problem, I started loading up and green and juice, juicy and then got here and juice. I never got sick. You just don't get sick. I'm telling you, you just will not get sick. Give your body a fighting chance. Okay. Bioavailable nutrients. You may be wondering if you're covered with a multivitamin, right? The sad truth is most multivitamins are cooked up in a lab using harsh chemicals and solvents. And we know that because it's in a little hard peel. These nutrients are little more than artificial vitamins, which aren't absorbed well. Green juices, on the other hand, contain natural vitamins and minerals in their most bioavailable form with nutritional cofactors and enzymes intact. They are easily absorbed. Your body simply gets more out of a green juice than it does a standard run-of-the-mill multivitamin. OK, now many of the ingredients in green juices are also known to boost nitric oxide levels, an important compound involved in cardiovascular health. Green juices are one of the best ways to nourish a healthy body. They provide a wide variety of nutrients that can improve your immune system, energy levels, detoxification efforts, gut health and much more. Now, to get the most benefit out of your green juice, go organic. For a quick and easy way to make delicious green juices every day, opt for an organic green juice powder with 44 superfoods to optimize your health. Best of all, you can be on your way to a healthy, tasty juice in under a minute. So obviously, that is your, that's the last resort. So what you want to make sure that you guys are doing, again, it is so important, so, so, so important if you can get your hands on organic products. And if you use organic, you will naturally... The, the the smoothie will naturally taste good. If you're going to get stuff that's not sweet, that's that's loaded with all this extra stuff, um, unfortunately, it's not going to be pleasant. You're not going to want to drink it. And also, a lot of that stuff is cooked up in a lab, and it's not it, it it when it's cooked up in a lab, it's deficient of a lot of the nutrients that it was naturally grown with. So what I encourage you guys to do is get a, a gar to start a garden if you can. Go to the food um, the food market. On the, um, or go to your organic station the, in your supermarkets. Every station, I guess every supermarket has like an organic station. If you, you know, and get your stuff, get only what you need because it goes bad really, really quick. Your oranges, your apples, all that stuff will go bad because it's organic. Um, so if you know you're not going to eat it all up, then cut it up and freeze it. But definitely you want it uh, as fresh as possible. But if you get a, a green juice in you every day, automatically replace it with a meal. Um, you can um, have it as a meal replacement. 
do your green juice and then add protein powder in um, in your green juice. I always go to um, Trader Joe's and it's an organic unsweetened pea powder. Um, and it's just a protein supplement. And that's my meal. That's my breakfast. I have, um, I try to stay away from bananas as much as I can, but depending on what I'm doing for that day, I will load up with, um, with um, kale or spinach. Um, I love the antioxidants. So it's blueberries, pomegranate, um, strawberries, stick with the berries for you, for a lot of you guys who have issues with sugar and all that stick with the berries, right. And, um, load it up. You can put some sliced almonds in there and, you know, stay away from peanuts if you can and some walnuts if you can, but load up with, with your sliced almonds and make it as, you know, um, more veggies than fruit because of the sugar, obviously. But I'm telling you, it's a meal replacement. It should hold you two, three hours, depending on what you're doing. Um, I have a pretty fast metabolism, so two to three hours. But definitely it will hold you. That's your breakfast. I'm telling you, every single day. And you can use it or as a meal, meal replacement at night. And then have your nice, healthy um, dinner. Um, if you can cut out the snacking, I'm telling you guys, if it's weight, that'll automatically drop. Um, I told you my issue is sugar. I love chocolate. So that's what I snack on um, when I should not be snacking. But guys, I'm telling you, the, the smoothies, it's so good. It will keep you hydrated. And again, you want to have a nice quality life. You don't want to be sickly. You don't want, you can't have mood. And then the multivitamins, I do take multivitamins. Um, but the purpose of this particular lesson with the green juices is that, so that you don't have to necessarily take multivitamins. If you're eating enough juice, eating enough greens, that's all that you got everything that you need. Right. So that that's um, pretty important, especially the older we get. And if you started with your children, make it a habit with them. Make it a habit with your children. Right. Because they're going to they, they pick up their eating habits from us. So just so they can have healthy, a healthy lifestyle. And unfortunately, in our community, you know, we're just not healthy. We just are not healthy at all. Um, so that's why I teach these classes to get us healthy, healthy. Um, okay. So let me see if I have some of the, some questions over here. So Vita, vital, vital mineral number one, is that like a mineral vitamin? I can't, your name isn't on here. So it just says Facebook user. Mm. Hello. Huh? Much love. Hi Antoine. You love beets, Alicia. Okay. So beets, I'm going to try, I'm going to try guys. Okay. I'm going to try, maybe we can do this together. We're gonna try some of these new some of these newer recipes. The beets, if you can get into the beets, that's an acquired taste for me. I'm telling you, um, I've gotten past kale and spinach. Yay, because I had a hard time with that. So the kale, the spinach, I've I've acquired that taste. The, the apples, I've learned with these smoothies that they've, they've got to be organic. I'm just not because I told you I have a um a sugar issue. So if anybody can tell you about the, the smoothies taste good, I'm going to tell you, it don't taste good. But if it's organic and if you blend it up, I'm telling you, it takes, so, it's it's so good. It is so good. And you want to enjoy it. No one wants to sit back and have a lifestyle of foods they just don't want to eat. Right. So that's why um, it's really important. And if you um, blend it yourself and if you use the, the, the real root, like ginger root, <coughs> excuse me, and your um just all the original, I'm telling you, just organic stuff if you can. I mean, it just makes it taste so much better. <clears throat> can you get dry elderberry from any store? I have never seen them, or should we try Whole Foods? They're at Whole Foods. We call it Whole Paycheck. Um, yeah, you can go to farmers markets. Um, and you can use if you can, if you want, you could try the fresh ones and dry them out if you want to be all creative. But yeah, you can go to Whole Foods and they'll have them there at Whole Foods for you. Okay, we can hear this. Okay, all right, guys, I don't see. So guys, our first winner is Talisha Du. I don't know if you got, did you get your um gift back yet? Talisha, I don't know if she got it yet, but she's, um. hi, I. You've been doing this for years, so you know the benefits of it. Definitely, guys, you know the benefits of these green juices. I'm telling you, truthfully, truthfully, um, you really, you, I mean, you have, if you're drinking green juice, you're going to notice a difference. There's just no way. I mean, something else, if you don't, then something else is going on with your body. Something else is wrong because green juices, 
I'm telling you, um, your energy level, it keeps you full longer. Um, and the health benefits, I'm at a point in my life, I'm concerned about the health benefits. Um, you know, just, um, I don't, especially with coronavirus and mm -mm, I'm like, I want to give my body a fighting chance and I want to have, you know, just live healthy. Okay. It should be coming. I'm going to check the tracking on that. So, okay, guys, that's my lesson. So, um, yeah, that's my lesson. I don't have any more questions. So, guys, let me know any classes that you would like for me to teach. And, Talisha, I do know you had mentioned to me before <clears throat> about a class. Um, let me see. Let's find it. Dealing with. Hold on. I did have it down here. Okay. It's disappeared. Okay. I know you had asked for, oh yeah. Um, dias, dia, ta, dia, is it pronounced diatasis? Diatasis, I think. Recti. Um, a disorder of some sort. So I wanted to try to get, I have a nurse that's an actual teacher, someone that can actually teach on it. Um, I can clearly send you as much information as I find um, just to bless you and others. But guys, we're open for any type of um, classes that you would like for us to teach. I love anything health related, um, cooking classes so we can get together and cook some of the stuff and actually blend some of the stuff together. And I may even come on here and do um, a live class, a live taste test with some of these recipes. I may even have some of you guys come in and help me out. <laughs> I may do two. Maybe you could do two. And we can give our honest opinion um, on what they taste like. You know, so. All right. Let me know what you think. All right, everybody. That's my class until next week. Again, let me give you the um, give you the um, rules for the contest. OK, guys. So. That's Antoine, that's I, that's a lot of you guys. So Talisha's already, she's our first winner. Yay, and it's her birthday. How appropriate. Yay. <laughs> so, okay, guys. So again, I have all this stuff to give away. I have my book, Faithful 40 and Fabulously Fit, along with the Starbucks gift card. I have all kind of goodies over here. I have Macy's. Amazon Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> so I have a lot of stuff here that I would love to give away, but I can't give it away if you guys are not participating. So what I need you to do, again, go over to Facebook. Let me type it in uh, the comment section. Hold on. Facebook. You guys see. Oops. Healthy health. Okay, so what you would do, and it's under uh, Dr. Jose Collins' name, go into our Facebook group, not my YouTube channel, not my official Zondra Wilson channel, not Calvary's channel, none of those. I'm like going live in a whole bunch of different places. So none of those places. I need you to go to our only Healthier Church Challenge page on Facebook. If you're not a member of the group, we would like for you to ask to be a member of the group. And of course, it's me that's going to let you in, myself or Tracy. We will accept you into the group. What we're trying to do is just to get all of our health stuff. We want it just to be in that one group because it's all over the place now. So we want everything health related to be a part of the health. So it's easy. So if we're talking about something health, like our mental health classes, everything you'll be like, oh, I'll just go to that healthier church challenge group. You know, um, if you want your sermons and stuff, that's all on Calvary's, but, you know, health. Uh, healthy healthy um, Calvary's um, Facebook page and their Twitter page and their Calvary and their um, Instagram pages. So what we're trying to do is just kind of separate everything. So go over to our Healthier Church Challenge page on Facebook. Ask to join. I will let you in. And then this video is on that page because I'm going live right now. And then I just need you to like, share, and just type your name in the comment section. I'd love for you to share it with someone who you think will benefit, preferably on your page. Um, if not, I don't want to just tell you, you know, I just I just want you to share it with someone who's going to benefit from the information that we're giving because we want our community to get healthy. Once you share it, that's it. So after the broadcast is over, you only have within this hour to do it. So for you who are in California, between one and two, everyone else, four and five, um, 
So other places, three to four. So you just have within this hour to do it. After that, broadcast is over. I'll go over there, pull all the names, uh, write all the names down and pull a name. Now this one, um, I didn't have to pull because it was only one person that followed the direction. So it was just like, okay, she won. So hopefully we're going to have more people that's going to go over there and, um, you know, do and to get, try to get on the contest. Okay. All right, everybody. Hi, Linda from Chicago. Yeah, go, Linda, yeah, go um over to the Facebook page. It's, that's the only place where I'm going to pull names, and that's the only place that counts. So a lot of you guys typed your name under the Calvary um, page and or, the, or, or under Dr. Jose Collins's page. So, and on Zandra's page. So, nip, 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 nip. Have to go to the Healthier Church Challenge page. And then over there, I pull a name. And then that's who wins the gift. That's who wins the gift. And I send it to you. And then it's all good. Okay. All right, guys. See you next Monday. Okay. Bye-bye.